Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Google Drive API in Python tutorial. My name is Jay. In this video, we're going to learn how to use Google Drive API to download files from your Google Drive. Here in my Google Drive, uh, under my random files folder, I have two files I want to download to my local drive. I want to save these two files to my random files folder. And here, let me go to my Python script. And here I already wrote the code to create the Google Drive API service instance. To download files from your Google Drive, we need to import a couple more libraries. I'm going to import the OS module and IO module from Google API client.http library. I want to import a class called media IO base download. The next step is we need to figure out the files ID. Now let me go to my Google Drive. To figure out my files ID, what you want to do is you want to click on the file and double click and have your mouse to click on this more actions icon. And you want to click on, okay. And you want to click on open a new window. And that opens the file in the preview mode. In the preview mode, you'll display the file's ID. So here's the file ID for the Excel file. I'm going to copy the file name. I'm going to create this object. I'm going to name this object file IDs. I'm going to just paste the file ID. Now I need to do the same for the other file. So double click and more actions and open a new window. And here's the files ID. Right now I'm showing you the manual way. In the future, we'll use the create function to create different files. It can be by file type, file name, or file create date, and so on. I'm also going to create another list. And I'll name this list file names. At this point, you have the option to rename your file. Unless I want to rename the Excel file to test.xlsm and just make sure that the file extensions are the same. And I'll name the second file retriever.jpeg, so JPEG file. Now I need to iterate each file ID in the file IDs list. So what I can do is I can insert a loop. I'm going to say that for file ID in file IDs. So I'm going to zip the file IDs and the file names list together. So this will be file ID and file name. And from the service object, the files, I want to insert the get media method. And I want to assign the file ID to the file ID parameter. And I'll pass the output to an object called request. From the IO module, I want to insert the bytes IO function. And I'll store the output to an object called FH. Now we need to download the media into byte strings. Here I'm going to insert the media IO base download class. For the FD parameter, I'm going to assign the FH object. And for the request parameter, I'm going to assign the request object. Oh, and I'll store the output to an object called downloader. Now we can perform the files downloading action. So here I'm going to create a tracker. I'm going to set the default to false. And I'm going to insert a while loop. And I'm going to say that while the down value is not true, I want to download the file by inserting the downloader object, the next chunk. And this method will get the next chunk of download data. And this method is going to return the tuple. And the first element is the status. And the second element is the indicator uh, whether or not if the file downloading is complete. And I'll insert a message. And here, let me scroll down a little bit. I'm going to insert download progress. And I'll print the progress. 
that format. From the status object, I want to get the progress percentage times 100 to convert that to a percentage value. In here, I'm going to insert the fh object that is sick, and it's going to be the first C. Now I can save the file to my local drive. So here I'm going to insert the OS module that path that join. And I'll insert the folder name first. So that random files. And I'll join with the file name. And we need to uh, write as binary. As F. And here I'm going to write the file that so insert the FH object that read. And once we finish uh, write the file, we need to close the file. And that's it. Now let me just fix the uh, the code real quick. All right. Now if I run the script, and it looks like both files have downloaded to my local drive. Now if I go to my random files folder, and here's the image file, and here's the Excel file. If I open the Excel file, just to make sure that the file is not correct. And you can see that all the information is still uh, sitting in the Excel file. So this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.